You will remember that um, validity is perhaps the most important principle of good assessment. But when we talk about validity, there's actually two interrelated components. One is often referred to as content validity. And what this means is that any assessment item that we use or produce um, must assess the particular content that we want. So if we want students to be able to compare and contrast different theories of motivation, for example, content validity would relate to the knowledge necessary for students to be able to answer that kind of question. Now, what does construct validity mean? Well, as we know, any learning objective and therefore any assessment item will involve both knowledge as well as cognitive process. Cognitive process in terms of memory or types of thinking. So if we use the example again, if we're asking students to compare and contrast different theories of motivation, and the content are the different theories of motivation, construct validity would mean the mental processes involved. For students to be able to compare and contrast different theories of motivation, they would need to analyse each of those theories to see the component parts, the assumptions, the premises, and then be able to compare and contrast those theories and be able specifically to identify what is similar between the theories, what is different um, between the theories, and what the significance of those differences are. So the cognitive activity would be types of thinking specifically to do with analysis and comparison and contrast. So good test items should be valid at both the content and the construct level.